What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to JQ. To Agriculture Fest, because it does affect the kind people of Lumezi. Ms. Madam Speaker, on page 46, your, your committee talks of failure to monitor import and exports. Madam Speaker, in this digital world, you have a ministry, 60 years after independence, deeply involved year in, year out with unauthorized payments. And then your committee is saying, can you, is telling the controlling officers to recover the monies that uh, were paid to undelivery uh, goods that were not delivered. Example given is on the copper belt. Madam Speaker, there are three ministries that we should always try to protect because not only they protect the interest of the president, but the general citizens. Madam Speaker, the Minister of Agriculture, Health and Energy, we are all affected by the decisions that these three ministries attend to. Madam Speaker, I will be doing a disservice to the people of Lumezi and the Zambians at large if I do not speak to corruption that is affecting these three ministries. If you go to the Minister of Health, for example, Madam Speaker, your report is telling us that on page 84 of your report, Madam Speaker, failure to utilize medical equipment. Madam Speaker, how do you fail to utilize medical equipment that you have in possession, spent huge sums of taxpayers' money, and then here they're failing to utilize that medical equipment? Just how, Madam Speaker? Madam Speaker, as we provide oversight on the privileged colleagues in the executive, they should equally bear in mind that they are there privileged, they are there knowing very well that they can be substituted with capable, competent men and women from yeah. this very house. Yeah. Madam Speaker, for the last few days, the President has been put in harm's way, being attacked from left, right, and center because of people that are taking advantage of those privileged positions. Mm -hmm. How, Madam Speaker, can we today say failure to utilize medical equipment? Mm -hmm. And the person who causes that is given a benefit of doubt, taken to another sensitive department, when we know very well that Oh, the honorable member for Lumezi, you know the rules are very clear. We do not debate ourselves. The report is also specific. Address yourself to the specifics. And actually today I wanted to indicate that we are not a complaints commission. We are a parliament. We debate. If there is any issue that uh, is uh, of concern to us, let's send it to the committee. We, have re we work through committees. Those committees have got a lot of power to summon witnesses to come and inquire in any matter that is of interest to them. If a honorable member comes to the floor of this house and opens a debate, first of all, according to our standing orders, they must be factual. Secondly, they must be verifiable. So as we debate and make those complaints, please let's make sure that we remain factual and the information should be verifiable. The, the, the purpose why we are here is to provide alternative solutions to the government in power, not to be a complaints commission. So if we are guided that we will be able to achieve more. May the honorable member continue. Madam Speaker, I adopt your guidance to provide solutions. Solution, Madam Speaker, entails we in this house to reach out to the executive if people are not doing their job after being given that task by the Republican president, they should be put on the bench. The 156 members in this house, Madam Speaker, we all saw our allegiance to the Republican president. We shall not accept a crop of few individuals, Madam Speaker, to sell land 
when God has stopped creating land. Mm. Madam Speaker, last year, there was an element of fertilizer, single sourcing fertilizer, delayed delivery of farming inputs. Today, the president in Mumbai was shocked that certain traditional leaders are receiving fertilizer late. Yeah. Madam Speaker, maybe it's because we don't speak to these issues, telling our friends in the executive. They do not listen. So providing solutions, Madam Speaker, one of them is that those that are failing to perform should be substituted. And we bring in people that will meet the aspirations of the head of state and not their individual capacities. Madam Speaker, you can't, we saw our allegiance to the president, then here today, the president is being embarrassed by a few individuals that can afford to divert containers of medicine. And we are all quiet. Our allegiance is to him, Madam Speaker. Unfortunately. Order, Honorable Member. Honorable Member for Lumez, you have been guided. Do you have any information that you can lay on the table of the House showing that anybody diverted containers? Do you have any evidence, Honorable Member? <laughs> Sorry, Madam Speaker. I, I withdraw that someone diverted containers of medicine in Macken. Yes, that is withdrawn because there are still investigations. Nobody knows who did what. There are still investigations. So let's not jeopardize those investigations. The Honorable Member may continue as guided. So, Madam Speaker, not to exhaust all the eight minutes, this report comes here every year. But it's something that our colleagues in the executive should pay particular attention to. Just the composition of this committee, Madam Speaker, shows that they did the right thing on behalf of your office and the people of Zambia. It would not do us any good, or, or harm rather, if they concede that they've let down the president on agriculture, energy, and health. We hope the new players that we have now will do the right thing. Madam Speaker, I thank you. Yeah. They, are, they are knowing very well that they can be substituted with capable, competent men and women from yeah. this very house. Yeah. Madam Speaker, for the last few days, the president has been put in harm's way, mm. being attacked from left, right, and center because of people that are taking advantage of those privileged positions. Mm -hmm. How, Madam Speaker, can we today say failure to utilize medical equipment. Mm. And the person who causes that is given a benefit of doubt, taken to another sensitive department, yeah. when we know very well that oh, God has... The Honorable Member for Lumezi, you know the rules are very clear. We do not debate ourselves. The report is also specific. Address yourself to the specifics. And actually today I wanted to indicate that we are not a complaints commission. We are a parliament. We debate. If there is any issue that is of concern to us, let's send it to the committee. We, have, we work through committees. Those committees have got a lot of power to summon witnesses to come and inquire in any matter that is of interest to them. If your honorable member comes to the floor of this house and opens a debate, first of all, according to our standing orders, they must be factual. Secondly, they must be verifiable. So as we debate and make those complaints, please let's make sure that we remain factual and the information should be verifiable. The, the, the purpose why we are here is to provide alternative solutions to the government in power not to be a complaints commission. So if we are guided that we will be able to achieve more. May the Honorable Member continue. Madam Speaker, I adopt your guidance to provide solutions. Solution, Madam Speaker, entails we in this house to reach out to the executive if people are not doing their job after being given that task by the Republican president, they should be put on the bench the 156 members in this house, Madam Speaker. We all saw our allegiance to the Republican president. We shall not accept 
a crop of few individuals, Madam Speaker. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Cool, and turn on the notification bell, cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.